Season 1 Reloaded is finally here, guys, and as you can see, there's only 20 days left in that little red writing over there, 20 days remaining in this season. So if we, we look at this, there's a lot of stuff that they brought. We got the 10v10 mosh bit here. I think Hardcore finally has its own little quick play selection. We got souped up as a mode. Rio 24-7. I hope Rio is good. I really hope it's good, because like when Grease came out, that map was pretty bad. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It wasn't that good, and then whatever. We got a bunch of stuff here, so it's looking good, but we're going to talk about settings today, and I want to let you guys know that I actually lowered my graphical settings now you might be thinking why would you lower your graphical settings i already played on pretty low but there's a few things and a few reasons why Reason number one, I don't know if this is just a placebo effect. We're going to go into it, actually. Let me show you guys here. I don't know if it's just a placebo effect or anything, but when I put my render resolution down to 95 from 105 and 110, so when I first started the game, I was playing at 110, then I put it to 105, I was getting a lot of packet burst. So I put it down to 95, and since I did that, I, I, I know it has nothing to do with graphics and stuff, but... I haven't been getting much packet burst. I, I don't know why. I have no idea why. So I put that low, and then my texture resolution, I set to very low, the lowest you could actually put it, and the game still doesn't look that bad. I mean, you could put it high if you want. I could definitely do it. I still have so much, like, like so much target space to hit at the bottom bar right there. It's not going to use much of my, my, my processing power or my graphics card or anything like that, but... I kept it at very low and the reason I do this is because I want my frames per second to be as high as I could possibly get it rather than looking at a really nice surface I mean the surface I don't care about I want to see enemies and all that kind of stuff and the lower you put your texture actually the easier it is to see some enemies so keep that in mind as well and a lot of people say that you don't have all these settings on console I'm not sure which ones are on console which ones are only on PC and stuff but I know that a lot of these settings are shared between both so I'm just gonna go through all the settings and hopefully if you have it on your console or PC or whatever, you guys could kind of check it out as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go into controller settings after I know all consoles have that and all that kind of stuff. But for just for now, just for the graphics, I'm gonna go over it quickly here. Just I'm not even gonna talk about anything. Just go over it really quickly, and you guys could go ahead and pretty much copy whatever you want. If you guys like it, I'll stop it every so often. You guys could just look at it, copy it, do what you gotta do with it. This is this right here, and then for environment, we got pretty much all that there. So it doesn't really matter, it is what it is. And then for view, I put my field of view to 105. I used to always play on 120. 120 was great, but your FPS goes down. Also, I find when you go for long shots at 120, it's a little hard to hit the long shots. So I set it to 105, and it's actually been pretty easy ever since. It, like these shots, most of these guns feel like they have zero recoil the higher you put the field of view and stuff. For some reason but i find 105 is actually really really nice then we got affected for the ads field of view wide for weapon field of view and then third person field of view i have it set to 80 i haven't played any third person in this game i don't even know where you could play third person in this game is it even possible i got no idea no idea so i, I just have it set to 80 don't care and then the vehicle field of view is default because i got so used to driving and stuff like that in warzone on default that i'm just not going to change it then world motion blur off always turn this off guys 100 percent of the time if you have it on your game looks ugly it's hard to see enemies if they're running around and stuff mixed with all the blur of the map it's just awful and then weapon motion blur turn this off as well because if you're shooting at someone and that little little line in your crosshair isn't lined up perfectly it just it's, it's just really annoying man it's just really annoying turn it off film grain off zero and then this right here i wish there was an option to put these to zero really do all third person don't care about but first person i wish there was the 50 is the lowest put that down to the lowest and this is when you're running around and stuff your camera's not going to be shaking all over the place and whatnot it's just it's really ugly and then pretty much yeah that's it for that right there now we're gonna get into the controller settings like i mentioned controller settings are my favorite settings because yeah it's just pretty much what i do so basically i'm using a controller i always i always show you guys no back paddles nothing at all just a basic playstation controller with a control freak if you do end up getting control freaks use my code it's nick and save yourself some money but yeah that, that's pretty much it i don't use back paddles nothing like that so i have my controller set to what I like it as. But if you guys play kind of similar to what I do, you could do it as well. So bumper ping off, flip, definitely turn it on flipped if you're playing with a PlayStation controller. If you're playing with an Xbox controller, there's no need to, but I just think a PlayStation controller, the buttons, the, the, the way they work is when you hit the L1 and R1, they actually do shoot milliseconds quicker than if you're to use the bottom haptic triggers and stuff like that. Those ones, just, in my opinion, I just don't like it. All right, so I, I just shoot L1, R1. It feels a lot more comfortable in my hand as well, but if you guys have, I don't know if you guys got used to L2R2, keep it on L2R2, I don't know. Uh, stick layout preset, we got it to default. Controller vibration, give me a second, guys. <coughs> this I turn off. This I always turn off, okay? Controller vibration, 
I just find like when it, whenever it's on and I can't play with it on anymore, and it honestly feels really awkward if I play with it on. Uh, when it, whenever it is on, I find that your your thumbs vibrating with the controller, your accuracy is a little off and stuff. It doesn't make a huge difference, but once you turn it off and you get used to it, which it's gonna take a few days to get used to, probably like three days to get used to playing without controller vibration if you've always played with vibration on. Uh, once you get used to it, you're never going to want to put it back on again. Trust me, guys. Trust me. Uh, trigger effect off dead zone inputs. We don't need to work with any of that right there. But yeah, pretty much that is it. We're going to go into the aiming settings here. And my horizontal stick sensitivity is up to, at 12. I used to play down at 8 and stuff. Then I went to 10. Now I'm at 12. This is always changing. I can't tell you guys what to play on. I, I could just say, like, play on what you're comfortable on. If you like playing all the way down at, like, 6... Hey, all power to you. If you like playing all the way up to 20, which I can't do, it's, it is actually insane, all power to you. What I will say is put your vertical one higher than your horizontal. Um, again, I don't know why I initially did this. I have no idea why I, the first time I actually did this, but it just feels so comfortable and it just feels so right playing with the vertical just one higher than the horizontal. So if you're playing on six, let's say here, put your vertical all the way up to seven. If you're playing on three, put it to four, kind of just so you kind of get an idea and you're going to see it. It just, it feels more natural for some reason. I can't even explain it. Sensitivity multiplier. We're going to leave that all there. No need to touch that. Vertical aim axis. Again, we're just going to leave it at standard. No need to touch all that. And pretty much it. So yeah, the aim response curve type, we got it at linear. Again, not messing with any of those in there. We're just going to leave it as is. And then pretty much everything here, I think think these two are what the game set it as I, I don't think i changed these right here but this right here i did change so my low zoom i have it set to 90 for my sensitivity my uh two to three times zoom is at 85 as well as the four and the five then the six all the way up to the nine is at 0.80 right here then my super high zoom is at 0.75 i find if you go higher up in zooms you want to lower the sensitivity because they zoom in so much that if your sensitivity remains high you're just going to be swaying around missing shots and all that kind of stuff so uh, that's why i do that right there target aim assist on obviously we're playing controller you definitely want aim assist why not black ops let people hate let, let the keyboard and mouse players hate you guys for that it is what it is man we got aim assist i'm sorry i'm gonna use it it's in the game uh, black ops obviously because it, it just in modern warfare 2 black ops was the best for a while and then they nerfed it and stuff but i just i'm used to it so it is what it is and then motion sensor behavior off and stuff like that now there's one more one more that i want to talk about I forget where it is. I think it's in here. Button layout. Yeah, so I play on stick and move. All right, guys. I play stick and move. And the reason I play this is because I just, I like to jump shot, especially using this right here. Okay, my right joystick. I don't like jump shotting by taking my thumb off and stuff. And I prefer jump shotting over drop shotting, especially with the assault gloves. Because if you have the assault gloves on and you jump shot, it increases your ADS speed, making it a lot quicker. And it also makes you more accurate somehow. I don't know why the gloves do that, but it just works. So that's why I jump shot a lot. It just works out nice in my favor. And that's why we go for there. Gameplay wise, controller settings, I mean, Tackle, tactical smart behavior we got it set to double tap all that kind of stuff i mean this one too i'm not going to really talk about it this is more like this is how you feel if you guys want this to feel like proper for you you kind of got to go through these settings but i'm going to show you anyways just what i have in case you guys do want to copy it just pause it pause it right here go into your settings take it and stuff but honestly this is it all depends on how you like the game how you want the game to feel and stuff i can't tell you guys oh definitely go ahead and put these on and stuff like no this is if you don't like it you don't like it i can't tell you guys what to do now audio settings i will tell you guys quickly audio settings is important now i i use bass boost but somebody told me the other day that they had the same headset as me and i think they changed something i forgot which one they use but yeah i i forget which one they use but apparently one of them is better i just think bass boost is good i could hear footsteps i could hear gunshots i could hear a lot and either way most people are running covert sneakers so i'm not really too worried about footsteps but for me, bass boost seems to be pretty good. It, it, it works, you know? Now, the master game volume, here's where I change everything. The gameplay music, what you guys are hearing right now, as I'm talking. <laughs> if you hear it, I don't know, because I have it set to 30. It's pretty low. I put this low on purpose because at the beginning of the game and at the end of the game, the music could get really loud and really annoying in your ear. And if you want to hear if enemies are near you, you don't want to hear that music over them. You want to be able to hear them clearly. The dialogue volume. This is the in-game characters talking to each other, not actual people talking to each other. It could be like your operator talking to someone else's operator doing call outs and stuff. I have this set to 70 because I do want to hear it sometimes, but I don't want it to be overpowering. 
effects volume this is like gunshots explosions stuns footsteps even all of that is an effects volume and that's why i have it set to the max cinematic music volume i have it set to 100 might, might as well war tracks volume this is i think i i don't even know to be honest with you guys someone can tell me down in the comments i think war tracks is when you're driving a vehicle in war zone i don't know i have it set to 100 i i have no idea now voice chat volume i have it set to 50 some people got some really loud annoying mics i don't want to hear them so loud so i set that to 50 i obviously got it on i have the whole lobby because i don't care everyone could hear me now last words voice chat i have off i'm gonna turn that on i don't know why it was off all right i don't know why it was off but it's funny that's so you could hear people when you kill them they could hear you and all that kind of stuff proximity chat obviously on that's for warzone it's fun voice chat output device i'm just gonna use my default one and then i got pushed to talk on at the moment i usually have an open mic this is just so you could just talk into your mic and they'll hear you push to talk is you have to hold a button and talk and they, they only hear you if you're holding that button or that key or whatever so it is what it is and then pretty much yeah that, that's about it if you guys enjoyed these settings let me know down in the comments below enjoy season one reloaded if you don't have that battle pass finished you got 20 days so make sure to get it finished all right guys thank you for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace